Dahlhogginsportsters.com here with Ryan Priest. Ryan, another successful run yesterday, P4 in the Truck Series race. It's been a great year for you. I know I asked you about this a couple weeks ago at Daytona, but now that we're a little bit further, can you just tell me about this year in review? I mean, just how good it's been? Yeah, I mean, if you look at truck statistics, um, only being you know with DGR 11 times, and realistically, the only time we finished outside the top 10 was when we almost won the race and got got wrecked. But um, it was still like it's been a phenomenal year, and like I said to all the crew, uh, Coleman, the spotter, Chad, Chad, my crew chief, it really is a pleasure working with those guys, and and you know they they do their job so well that I can do my job and focus on all the things that I need to focus on and and continue to be better. I think our last. Our last four races were like a first, a second, third, fourth, fourth. So they were really consistent, which is good. And it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Just just hoping I can figure something out and and or well, I can I can know of what's going to go on for next year very soon. Well, one of those folks that you, you have a strong backing behind you, supporting you for next year. And one of those people is Tony Tony Stewart, who you know is a pretty good guy to have behind you, but. He said that he, uh, there were some rumors saying that he prefers to have you uh, in his car next year for SHR in the Cup Series. Any comment on that for now? I mean, it's really, it's a really good um, person to have in your corner for sure. You know, I, I have a guy like Kevin, a guy like Tony who, who said that. Um, you know, and then I got strong supporters of mine that that are really, really trying to help me get an opportunity. But other than that, I really, I really don't know what's going to happen. All I know is, I like to. I like to race. I like to win, and and uh, you know keep cars clean and, and be consistently up front. So that's um, that's something I want to do at the top level, and hopefully one day I can get that opportunity to do that. And then there's DGR, who is there's another more. I don't know there's rumors everywhere, rumors galore, and you're unfort and you're in it. Really? But <laughs> well, I mean by that I mean DGR switching to Toyota, yep. uh, becoming a Toyota team. I'm not sure if you've heard anything about that at all. No, nope. Well, regardless, a great year for you so far. I mean, it, what does it mean to have all those kind, all those people behind you? I mean, it has to, just to showcase your talent. You know, it, everybody seems to really support you. Yeah. So my career has really just been one of, of not having funding or not really being tied to a manufacturer. It's it's kind of having to break through doors to to create those next opportunities. And I've, I've won a lot of races. I've kind of done it. Uh, as far as the last 15 years, not a lot of guys have, have raced at your roots, so to speak, and, and won track championships or at a regional level. And, you know, it, it kind of seems like the, the model for, uh, for drivers to, to kind of go from a late model to a k and car and then from a K&N car to a truck or Xfinity, and that's that. Mine's been starting park for people in SK Modifieds or racing a Tour Type Modified and, you know, do everything I, I felt like I needed to do to get opportunities and... Now I've, you know, with a, with the help of a lot of people, um, I've got I've gone and I've succeeded, even without full time opportunities. So uh, I just I want that I want that opportunity to be with a manufacturer to to have every every you know every resource that that I feel like I need to succeed and and I feel like uh, hopefully one day that does happen. What does success look like for you? Are you what does success look like for you? Are you already there, or do you, you wish to just it was a little bit more? Uh, I'm definitely not there yet. I would say I've accomplished some things that I've that I've set out to accomplish as a race car driver, but I'm not even close. Um, I want to win races. I want to win championships. I want to compete week in and week out. I know you can't win every week. That's just it's not. I mean, I'm, it's just really, it takes so many factors really to, to, to win a race, but uh, I want to be consistently up front and, and competing for wins. And, and that guy, um, that when you look in the rearview mirror, you don't want to see him coming. So it's uh, something that we're building towards, and, and hopefully that can happen soon. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.